I am outside of Mandalay Bay in Vegas getting ready to go to the airport in a self-driving Tesla. Check it out. Am I going to be safe in this bad boy? Five-star safety rating. On the freeway. It's on the freeway. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna self drive. I'm check my email. <laughs> Here we go. Let's do it. Whoa, we switched lanes. Now, I got a little saying from Mr. Elon Musk, yeah. like Charlie Munger says, the billionaire. Yes. You get paid in direct proportion to the difficulty of problems you solve. <laughs> You are seeing the future. Scientifically, it all comes down to humans thrive when they have their brain resources being fully optimized. And reading a book is like downloading mm. new software into your brain. You know, books are great. Another forum for knowledge in person is conferences yes. and seminars. Yes. Because then not only do you get the knowledge directly from somebody, but you also change your environment and start spending time around other people who are like-minded and there's a lot of power in like-minded camaraderie whether it be conference seminar audio book physical book ebook in-person mentor virtual mentor buying a course online taking a college class it like what you want is insight yeah. in life so you want to be insight driven to have to be able to see what others can't see and to tie it all together that's how you come up with a tesla electric self-driving car it's somebody elon musk who goes everybody says it can't be done well i'm gonna be the mad scientist <laughs> that makes it done and that's not proper english grammar but we all know the point there <laughs> get it done comes from that mentality of eh, maybe huh as opposed to people going, you know, Ford and Toyota and them going, no, you can't have an electric car. You can't have it. Forget that. Yeah, and anyone that laughs at how crazy your ideas are, that's just the first sign that you know you're doing something right. You know, that's the yeah. first That's the first sort of tell that you're actually on to something is when people think yeah, that Alan, it's not Al possible. Alan Nation, one of my second mentors at Ty, if you got a business idea and your neighbors love it, you're too late. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's too mainstream. screen right here which I'll, I'll get a shot with my GoPro Man, you can see that. that it reads the speed signs right here oh, okay as the software in the car drives mm -hmm. it's getting uploaded to a massive cloud yes and all that information is being computed and these are the speed limits these are the conditions on the roads these are what's happening and you've got mm -hmm. features like windshield wipers that are automatic yeah. to the weather every car coming off the line in Tesla at the factory has the autopilot hardware it, it consists of a synthesis of of four different systems. The first is a forward-looking radar. Then the, the next element is a camera with uh, image recognition. The third system is 360-degree long-range ultrasonic sonar. This basically establishes a protective cocoon around the vehicle. The anticipation is that within five years you will be able to fall asleep um, in your car and it will take you to where you want to go. It will pick you up uh, from wherever you are and it will park itself. And that's all within the plan. And Elon shared that with people. Oh man, we cannot even predict how much is going to happen. Just think how much happened in the last 15 years. 15 yeah. years ago people weren't using email. Hardly anybody was using email 15 years ago. Social networks weren't there. There was no mobile phones. That's yeah. the thing that people forget, man. I remember when you needed directions, somebody wrote it on a piece of paper. <laughs> all I can tell people, though, is in the midst of all the technological change, mm. remember that old school stuff still going to work. Yes. So it's not technology is not going to change the fundamentals of the universe. There's still going to be the principles, like I say, as entrepreneur, you got to be able to persevere. You have to be patient. Mm. You have to be a knowledge sponge. You know, you have to be a learning machine. All that's not going to go away. I mean, at the end of the day, like I said, if you see yourself as a mad scientist, not somebody who's always full of conclusions, you'll go a lot further in life. And most people are too quick with conclusions. It's called a certainty bias. People don't want to have any uncertainty in their life, so they try to go... Here's the exact answer on who should be president. Here's the exact answer on what kind of diet you should eat. When in realities of life is that 
we live in a complex world with open-ended questions being yes. generally more yes. valuable than closed. To tie it all together, that's how you come up with a Tesla electric self-driving car. It's somebody, Elon Musk, who goes, everybody says it can't be done. Well, I'm going to be the mad scientist <laughs> that makes it done. And that's not proper English grammar, but get it done comes from that mentality of, eh, maybe. Huh. Thanks so much. Where can people find out if they want to drive? Testloop.com. Testloop right there. Yeah, check us out. Yeah, and if you guys want uh, to kind of take part in any more of conversations like this, just search the Meeting of the Minds. Uh, we have these sort of conversations all over the world with people like Ty. And Ty, I really appreciate you kind of like yeah, being, being even open to this. It was thank really you. cool. Kinda, yeah, thank yeah, that was thank awesome. You. If you like all this good technology, crazy stuff, make sure you subscribe here. Leave a comment. The craziest technology you've ever been involved with. All right, let me hear what you guys have. Anybody been in a self-driving uh, Lamborghini or <laughs> plane or helicopter? <laughs> let me know.